Hey everyone, and welcome to another Bite Size Tactics video. Since the Space Marine Battle Force box set is soon to be put out for pre-order for Christmas, I thought why not review the units in the box, starting with the Outrider Squad. The Outrider Squad has a 12 inch movement, which is common for fast attack units with a toughness of 5, a 3 plus armor save, 4 wounds per model, leadership of 6 plus, and objective control 2. The squad consists of one sergeant with two to five outriders and you can add up to one invader ATV to the unit if you want to. Their points cost is 95 points for a three man unit and a 190 point cost for a six man unit. An invader ATV costs you 70 points to add it to the squad as well. The keywords to take note of are the grenades keyword which opens up that grenade stratagem and the mounted keyword for stratagems specifically relevant to mounted units. They also have an ability called Turbo Boost, which allows them to automatically advance 6 inches if you wanted to advance the unit. All Outriders, including the Sergeant, are equipped with a Heavy Bolt Pistol, a Twin Bolt Rifle, and a Chainsword for close combat. The Heavy Bolt Pistol does have the pistol ability, so they're able to shoot while in combat, while the Twin Bolt Rifle has the Twin Linked ability, allowing you to re-roll your wound roll. This pairs nicely with Oath of Moment, so you can reroll to hit and wound your oath target. This unit can be quite handy as a screen unit with the turbo boost ability, especially if you're going first and you're playing against a very combat heavy army like the World Eaters. They also have quite a long base, which if spaced expertly between them, can also allow you to stop several infantry units and also move block your opponent's vehicles and monsters buying you an extra turn of scoring primary and secondary points. Alternatively, you could run two to three small squads and use their movement to move around the board, helping you play the tactical mission and score you points, or just run interference with your enemy's units. Now for the downside of this unit. They aren't overly tough with only a toughness of five, so this unit can be chipped away at quite easily and killed throughout a turn or two. So you need to be mindful of what stratagems to use to help make them more survivable. Also, even though they are great at move blocking and screening, you're also at a disadvantage as you can also easily be move blocked. And without your movement, this unit is utterly useless. The unit doesn't deal much damage in both shooting and close combat. They can do well against units with a toughness of three, but that's about it. Getting locked in combat with a specialized combat unit will probably get them annihilated as well. And getting your movement phase wrong can be extremely punishing for you as your larger units of outriders can open up several firing lanes to your enemy. The only character able to join the unit currently is the chaplain and bike. However, he does help you in combat with that plus one to wound with the litany of hate. But he also has another really cool ability, which allows you to pick an enemy unit within 12 inches that is visible to the model and any ranged weapons that target that unit gain the Devastating Wounds ability. And don't forget that you can reroll your bolt rifles due to the Twin Linked ability inbuilt, meaning you can fish for Devastating Wounds. So for some strengths, the most obvious one is their movement and how useful that can be to your gameplay. Whether that be riding around doing objectives or holding up your enemy just long enough to do more damage to those units, the Chaplain and the ATV really do help this unit excel at killing those lighter infantry units and even help you punch up against elite infantry and some lighter vehicles and monsters. We touched on how this unit can be easily targeted in the weaknesses, but because they have a wound char characteristic of four, they can be annoying to kill, especially with small arms fire that only deal one to two damage per attack, and even damage three weapons that would normally just kill a Terminator outright are somewhat wasted on them. Again, they are a great move blocking and screening unit to use, and they can be reliable at getting you those secondary points as they are a bit more of a sacrificial piece. Also, there are some cool stratagems to use on this unit, such as Armor of Contempt and a minus one to hit and wound in the Stormlands attachment, which is quite good. In my own opinion, I do feel like this unit is quite lackluster though, just by itself especially as it doesn't do much damage unless you attach the Chaplain and the ATV to the unit. Still, I could see some players taking either a big unit for a sacrificial piece to set up a counterpunch, or a few small squads to run around and play the tactical game with. 
as they would be really annoying to deal with for your opponent. I still think that this unit is a bit expensive for what it can do by itself. And even when adding in those extras, like the ATV and the Chaplain, the unit becomes more expensive for you to run. And maybe not worthwhile in the long run. It, But then again, there are some generals out there who love using fast moving units and can get the best out of this unit. Thank you for listening and hopefully you got some cool ideas about how to use the Outrider squad from this video and if you haven't already check out a few of the other videos for more unit reviews.